Alright, before the video starts, if this is your first time visiting this channel, make sure to subscribe. Something good will happen to you guys in return for liking the video and subscribing and turning on notifications. So enjoy the video. Hey yo guys, I'm back in the box of Blade yet yeah, again. You guys already know. But I'm going to show you guys all the guild locations in this video. The Trello has all the guild information about how to get whatever the re requirements, all that. Um, I, I'll i include this video as well, but there will be a Trello in the description so you guys can look at that and get all the information there. That's where I get my information. It's unofficial, but you know, it's still it's still accurate, I think, for the most part. But uh, we're at spawn for the uh, swamp. The first place I'm going to show you guys is Monk. Monk is probably one of the most common ones to find already. Uh, I actually found it on accident with Sage in one of my videos. But we're in the swamp or vinelands as the real term is called. There's the swamp place right there. And <clears throat> uh, I don't want to confuse you guys. But uh, so I'm going to head back really quick. So there's the bog town there's this there's the um in right there and it faces north i guess i'll call that north you want to go never east so you walk west all right west and you're going to see a tower that's the wrong tower actually that is not it i thought that was it the first time actually in the video but that is not it it's actually behind it over here i think yeah right here this tower right here You'll see a little little thing poking out of the tower too. It's the uh, it's the monk guy, and you just do a little obby parkour to up there. There's going to be the water water cloak or water robe, which is good for fist, which is what you get if you go fist. And the rep. Okay, I can't even. Bro, what the fudge? All right, uh there you might want to put some some good stuff on that got hopped Just like that but the re the re uh, the requirements are i think three reputation positive reputation and uh let me see let me see three reputation and a base sword is not needed and you must have the water armor on the water set armor on so you have to bo have both the the torso part as well as the leg part and just like that we are up hop these all right look right here water wave this is the first one right here pretty good actually 20 percent physical boost 10 percent speed and then here's another one the for the pants part and then here's the guy you talk to him if depending on your rep my rep is negative 15 so he, yeah, he says, like, how many people have you killed? Basically, I can't learn from him anyways. Uh, anyway, so that that's the first trainer, Monk. On to the next one. And actually, I'm going to just start from here just because the next one, Cleric, is the nearest one here. And you want to go north towards the plains where you first spawned. And then take a right and just at this church very easy to find very easy to find church talk to this guy this guy is your clerk and for the requirements for this guy you just have to have a bunch of rep not like a bunch a bunch but you just gotta donate to the church and have enough rep basically so when you talk to him it doesn't matter if you're berserk i mean or negative rep or not you just gotta talk to this guy and donate and donate and every time you donate actually you get five rep. So yeah. All right. Anyways, yeah. Let's uh, let's just uh, go away from him. That's for cleric. Cleric is a very, very support class. All right. Next one. All right. Now we're at the starter spawn. Just where exactly where you started. We're going to the desert over here. And by now, I, I hope hopefully you guys know these locations are like the desert the swamp all that i mean if you're looking for a guild you should really know the map already but you know no judgment if you don't but 
go to the desert and i'm going to show you guys where the the boyd hex hex guy and uh, well, there's one more oh yeah gladiator i'll show gladiator first um so it's not that far actually from the uh, start of the desert you actually just want to go forward straight towards the desert it's or not desert the volcano you want to go straight for the volcano go a bit a bit to the bit to the left just keep going straight though and right by this mound rock right here go behind it and there's going to be a little little crack in it right here and boom the gladiators are here and he is a furry i can confirm <laughs> yeah he's a furry for sure you talk to him uh the requirements for this guy is you need a negative 50 rep and then once you have negative 50 rep he'll give you a quest to kill five players which you just kill five players then you go back to him and then He'll teach you the skill and also give you the armor for it. Very good at armor and very good skill. The armor is so nice. I have it. That's the only reason why I'm talking about it. All right. So very awkward. The dragon guild is not in the volcano. Oh my gosh. I'm so bad at this. Anyways, we're just going to skip the dragon. The dragon's actually in the mountains. I'll show you guys that still. But we're going to the hex guild, which is on top of the desert, which I call the desert plane. Just because it's flat and in the desert. And right here is a little safe place, you know, to buy the desert cloak that I have that gives good heat resistance. But, you know, uh, hopefully you guys already have heat resistance on something. This is some good heat resistance. Anyways, uh, des Deadlands. All right, Deadlands. You want to run straight to the right side of the wall. Hopefully you don't encounter any smiles or that's what they're called. The kind of weird looking skinny, very scary bosses. And right here, all right, right here. I don't, I'm sorry, I, I wasn't looking there, but just head to the right wall and go forward until you hit this wall. And there's just gonna be a crack in the wall. And you're gonna see a hole. I'm gonna put on, oh my gosh, it already got scary. I hate this place so much. Anyways, um, put on your armor that is fast and that can jump. Trust me, you'll need it. Anyways, um, it's gonna walk forward and it's gonna be hard to see, but you will eventually oh my god i fell off so you're gonna it's in the tunnel it's gonna be complete darkness but once you reach out the tunnel right you're gonna start seeing stone stuff uh still in the tunnel still in the tunnel now all right it's very hard to see anyways it gets narrower and narrower all right and you want to be careful i was so bad i died instantly okay just like that so it's a bridge and you want to be very careful because there is, here it is. All right. Wait, no, it's not. There's going to be a hole in the bridge, a gap. Is it here? No. Dude, it's so scary. All right. It's right here. So right now I'm on the edge. I don't know if you see that, guys. Well, now I'm on the edge. And the edge is right over there, the other edge. So this is where the super speed, or not super speed, but just like really fast speed and jump comes in. Go, go, go. Whoop. Just like that. And then you can go forward. And then just be careful. Be careful. And you're on the main end now. Okay. Wow, it's so dark. Like usually you're able to see the the church it's not even a church but like so dark I'm, I'm like straining my eyes right now just trying to see and he's right here i'm so sorry how dark it is guys like it's super dark to see so here's the hex guy and the only reason why it's so dark is because it's uh it's just nighttime right now 
But to get this guy, you have to be like five rep, I believe. And yeah, you have to be five rep. You have to be level 30, and then you have to be any tier two sword. So actually, this one is not that hard to get. His guild ability it gets 50 to 60% hex damage increase. And then there's some special options apparently that you can kill him. Oh, you can you can choose not to kill him, which will give you the armor. You can kill him. Uh, killing him will only give him give you a more positive reputation. And then killing him will also uh, soft lock you out of the guild unless you completely restart your save. Which I'm not too sure what that means. But um, I'm guessing just don't kill him. <laughs> I don't recommend going into the void when it's nighttime. Like completely don't recommend. It's so trash. If you guys go in the daylight it's you can see you could really see the broken down building from the half part of like the gap in the bridge you could see the broken down building from there but i couldn't see the broken down building from like five studs away from me it's so bad during night time did not go bad during night time and also i gotta set my spawn here because i keep have to running back from org town or borg town but it's so annoying all right Anyways, the next one, very easy one that everybody knows, I'm pretty sure is the Flux Mage Guild. It's actually just towards the Path of Tundra, or not Tundra, but I, I don't like saying Tundra. The Path of the Mountains. So whenever you guys hear me say mountains, just know I'm talking about the very cold place that a lot of people call Tundra. Anyways, um, to my no knowledge, this is the only way to get to it. You want to climb up towards the mountain towards the snowy place you're not gonna oh my freaking gosh you're not gonna go all the way up you're just actually gonna go up a bit She is down there. Alright, right here. Jump down. Bam. Flux mage. Talk to them. I've never talked to this one actually. Oh uh, blah blah. Anyway, so yeah, you just talk to her and the requirements for her are really easy actually. It's just 70% magic, I think. Oh, it's 60% magic boost. So basically I think you just have to have it on your armor, 60% magic boost, talk to it. And the guild stats is negative 40 physical defense and negative 40 physical boost with 60% magical boost. And the guild ability is too complicated to explain really. Oh, three more. So the knight, vampire, and draco are the only ones left out to show. So we're going to go show the knight and the draco, which are in tundra. So no, not tundra. Oh my gosh. Mountains. So we're gonna go to the uh, night first. Um, just follow where I'm going. Uh, there's three floors to the mountain. Right now we're on the first floor, and you just wanna just follow where. Oh, watch where I go. That scared me. That actually scared me. I don't know where he came from. Lag is crazy. Anyways, um, you wanna just follow where I go. We're going to the night first because the night is further away, and then the Draco is actually not far at all. But I'm going to show the night first so that I can just go back, retrack, so I can show you guys where the, um, so I can retrack my footsteps and show you guys where the Draco guy is. So you're going to head up all the way all the way to the top of the mountain night is actually pretty far away to get to and you're probably going to need to have some nice resistance 
of the gear. All right, so I got nice resistance. Just um, heading towards there. Heal up at the end if you need to. I can't, unfortunately. And I'm guessing if you're going night, uh, you should be able to heal at the end just because you need 20 plus rep for the night. The end is over there straight forward. I'm not going to go over there. I did show uh, the end already in a different video. Probably my, my last video. But oh, punch. Ooh, okay. I said myself. Oh my, that would've been terrible. Wow. All right, let's climb back up. All right, here's the last layer, the third layer, the um, top most layer. And this is where you get the repeatable wolf, wolf, winter wolf quest, the way to level up fast, if you guys do not know. But uh, we're going to actually pass him. So, we're, oh no, they're after me. Oh, they're not after me. I got lucky. Okay, let's go this. You will encounter wolves, by the way. You will encounter wolves. Just saying. On the route there to uh, the the night. I'm lucky that I haven't encountered many wolves already, but there are many more wolves that we will encounter, and you will see. There's a lot. Alright, there's the quest guy. Alright. Let me ask for a heal really quick. Hurry. There's the quest guy. You want to keep going this way, straight forward like this, by this big ice brick. All right, there's gonna be a wolf here. So I just kill it. Keep going. It's gonna be another wolf here. Kill it. Keep going this way. Follow the edge, just like this. I'm not going to speed this part up just because it's going to be pretty difficult if I speed it up. So I want to speed it up. Go do this little narrow system. There will be a wolf in front of us about now. I don't even know. We'll see. Oh, yeah. Over here. It should be one right here. Oh, there it is. All right, I climb up here. There's probably going to be another one. I don't know. Actually, no, it's not. Okay. And you want to keep going forward. And there's going to be a little high jump here. This is the play. Oh, and oh, I made the hop. <laughs> All right, cool. Anyways, you just make the hop. Come over here. Keep going forward in this narrow hallway. Just like that. Keep going forward. 
and then once you see this tree you could just go straight on straight on forward that's it it's a pretty long walk so hopefully you got that roots distance like i said just yeah just walk forward there's no wolves i don't believe so <laughs> i don't think so but yeah just walk past that back here is the one and only knight cabin or knight's outpost you get the paladin armor here uh pretty nice i guess for holy people and then um here is talons and for this requirement you need 20 reputation like i said as well as um like a quest that gives oh yeah to kill the iron slayer so first you need the 20 require a rep talk to him he'll give you the quest then you have to come back to him <laughs> which actually sucks you have to come back to him and then he'll teach you the stuff so if you're going night it's a it's a it's a doozy all right for draco you're gonna have to be up on the mountain but this time you don't have to go up to the third floor you actually have to just go up to the second floor and then from there i'll show you guys where let me just get up there really quick just like that i'm on the second floor come up here and boom second floor all right i'm gonna finish this up really quick i'm gonna show draco and then show where vamp is all right so go over here just like that be careful don't fall and then <laughs> you want to fall right over here and just be careful you don't fall over here be very careful all right fall here here and bang draco uh, the dragon cave you talk to him and you have to be negative rep as well as the dragon actually you don't have to be negative rep i'm tripping you don't need any rep but you need to be a draco blood oed and then you have to reach level 60 and uh, the guild ability there is six different guild abilities just because depending on your race color or your draco color is depending on what you get i'll just put a screenshot out i'm not about to read it all and uh, there's that and now for vampire um i'm gonna show you guys where each it is from here just fall down <laughs> really just fall down and then i'll try to my best to explain where this is uh from spawn basically when you see that bright glowing orange mushroom you found it and I'm in the far back of the wilderness, so if you were to run out of safe zone, or the first spawn, then you would find this place. Boom, right here. Here he is. And to get this guy, you have to, or to get a uh, vamp, you have to like sacrifice yourself, I think. I don't even know, man. But um, you have to be negative 30 rep, and then guild abilities, vampire comes in tiers. The first tier, you get high damage and a defense during the nighttime, but weaker during the day. Killing mobs and players will not give you HP, but you'll be hated and you can't use any ends. And then the second tier, the requirements is 70 to 70 and 100 and 200 negative reputation, but it's unconfirmed. And those are all the buffs for it. And the third is unconfirmed just yet. So let me um, run to the safe zone from here. There's the bright orange mushroom and there's the cave. I'm going to just run straight forward. And you guys will see what I mean by it's like right by spawn. Just run forward, run forward. All 
All right, there's Vaughn right there, the castle. Literally just walk, run forward. Literally, that's it. Like one of the entrances to the spawn, you just run out of and straight forward. See that? There's the, uh, the obby. Literally just run forward like that. All right, guys, that's how to get to there. And those are all the guild showcases and also requirements. And I guess a little explanation of the guild abilities. So if this video helped you at all, you guys already know, drop a like. And I will see you guys in another video. Also, comment down in the description what you guys want to see. All right, I'm open to many ideas. I'll see you guys in another video. Peace.